Disney and Charter Communications settled their dispute hours before the Monday night football game and Apple will leave with their big reveal today, which is expected to include a new iPhone and watch. Jane King is at the Nasdaq with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. Apple is set to debut a new iPhone 15 series alongside several other products today. The iPhone 15 is expected to come in four variants and mark Apple's transition to USB-C charging. It's also expected to have 15% longer battery life and faster charging. And guesses are that the Apple Watch 9 will get new processors and colors and perhaps even a way to 3D print the watch band. Well, Congress is back to work today and immediately will face a budget battle. They're just a 11 work days for lawmakers to hash out some kind of deal before the budget expires at the end of the month. Well, stocks rose yesterday to start a big week of inflation data. Investors bought up tech shares. And Disney and Charter have ended their dispute. This restores ESPN, ABC, and other channels to 15 million households. The deal allows Charter to provide Disney Plus and ESPN Plus streaming services to its pay TV subscribers. And the Wall Street Journal reports that generic drugs are supposed to be cheap, but insurers are still charging thousands of dollars for them. Drugs for cancer, multiple sclerosis, and other complicated diseases especially haven't gone down in price. Health researchers and industry officials say the very companies that are supposed to keep a lid on drug spending, this way they can maximize their profits by marking up the prices. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.